Alright guys, look, I'm going to be talking kind of fast in this video because it's going to be pretty long because I'm gonna. this is going to be full instructional video on everything you need to know for cricket breeding. So I'm sorry if I'm talking kind of fast, but I want to get this done so you guys can have everything you need to know. Uh, any questions, comments, just subscribe. I mean, um, message me, comment below, ask questions all you want, but I just need to get through this video so you guys can get everything. Alright, enough of me talking, let's go to the real stuff of the video. They're so loud. All right. So first thing, this is the, this is where I have my crickets breeding right here. Uh, you're gonna want two tanks minimum. You can have three, probably better, but two tanks works pretty damn fine for me. First thing, this tank, it's a town gallon small. This is where I have my nursery. This is where they are growing. This is the last batch that I've hatched. I had 150, and all I used was those four bottom of those water bottles that I have, just the four little circles, and I got 150 out of that. And all I did was leave them in there for a week. So, I was pretty successful. Uh, if you guys want to take a look, it's kind of nasty, but I mean, it shows you how well it worked. There are tons in there. Oh. There's a bunch. All in one toilet paper roll. Here's another one, and it's the same thing. Look at that. I mean, there's tons. Anyway. So it really does work. It really does. Um, so and then these are other housings. They don't really like going these in as much. They like the toby rolls better. But then on the other side, you're gonna want some food and water. Once they get to about this age, they just basically need the needs of the adults. So uh, just enough water is fine. Not like when they're hatchlings where you need tons of water. Um, so this is what you need. What I use, I just have paper towel. I soak the paper towel, completely soak it, then I put the strawberries on top and the lettuce on the side, and they eat there and they get their water from the paper towel underneath it. Works just fine, save space too. Uh, so that's where they're growing. This is where I'm feeding. I mean, this is in a hundred and well, you know what? Yeah, this is probably about a hundred right here, in here, because I fed him about fifty this entire week, because he can he can eat uh, fifteen about like three or four days. He eats, and then over here is where the adults are. Oh yeah, another thing is uh, you want to put packaging tape around every single cage you have the crickets in. They cannot climb up the packaging tape. It is too slick and thin and fine. Uh, it's slippery, so they can't climb up it. If they, oh, if they, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, they can't climb up. If they do, they just fall back down. So you don't want crickets in your house, so that's fine. Then over here, same thing, packaging tape all around. Then you have the housing. The adults don't mind these, they actually go in these a lot too. And they're in there. And then you have your breeding pots. That's the breeding pot I was telling you about that I used last time. Then, now, I'm adding in this too. It's a, just a large tin that I cut out from the bottom of a Girl Scout cookie thing. Cut it out, soaked it, soaked the soil in there. So this should be even more. So I have that. That's where they they were actually just putting eggs in there just before when I made this video. Of course, they would leave right when I'm going to record. Anyway, then we have here the food. Same thing as over here in the nursery. Same thing over there. They like strawberries a lot. Got the housing. It's larger because I need more space. You want them to have enough house housing and be comfortable breathing. Then once after a week and a half, two weeks. I'll be removing all, everything except for that, and leaving that right in the middle, and everything else is gone. No adults, no housing, no food, nothing, which is what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to leave that alone in there, shut this top, put a, a lamp or under tank heater underneath, get it to about 80, 85, and they will grow really fast. That all You don't need the heat, all, all it does is make, make them grow a lot faster and bigger. So I have this heat lamp. I'll show you guys because I actually have it hooked up now. It's infrared. So when you turn it on, it looks like this. This is what it looks like. Infrared. It gives off a nice, nice amount of heat. It gets to about 80 in a 40 gallon. And I have, a, I have a dimmer on it so I can regulate the temperature in there too because I have a thermometer for it. Um, it's got a dimmer so it's really good. I can regulate the temperature. 
Uh, so I'm gonna get to about 80 in there. And then they should grow pretty fast. And what you want to do is once they're hatchlings, once they're baby, baby hatchlings, once they're hatchlings, I'm gonna make another video to really show you. But right now I'm talking about in the future, you know. But I really want to show you guys up close what they look like when they're hatchlings, how to exactly take care of them, because I'll be able to do that. I can't do that now because they're not hatchlings, obviously. So. I'm just making each video about cricket breeding as they go along. Like before I showed you what you needed, now I have the adult crickets again, and I'll show you how to do set it up and make them breed. Um, and then once they do breed, I'll show you, I'll make another video removing those, I mean removing the adults, removing the housing, putting them in here, and these will all be gone by the way, he'll, be, he'll eat them in a week and a half. Um, so, and then I'll just show you how that's alone, put the heat lamp on, and, you know, it's just going to go on like that so I can show you step by step every time I do it how you should look. And it's not a week and a half time for you guys. It'll just be the couple videos to watch. So, it'll be good. So, anyway, here is the adults like I showed you before. Then I'm going to take all the, uh, everything's going to be out except for that. And then you're going to put a heat lamp, blah, 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 let it get to about 80 degrees. And then after about a week and a half or so, you should start seeing little, little, like, smaller than a rice grain things but they're black and they're just gonna be running around like crazy in there running around they might look like they're happy they're not they're very little no I'm kidding but you do need a lot of water I'm serious I'm sorry I got off track there but yeah they're gonna be running around a lot you definitely need the tape because they will get out there's gonna be like thousands um no they're not gonna be thousands but there's gonna be a few hundred and it's impossible to keep them all alive because there's so many but you're gonna get a nice, nice view if you follow the instructions. You're gonna need uh, a lot of heat, uh, a lot of water, a lot, a lot of water. I made a lot of these. Uh, I'll show you guys how to make it, and some maybe in some other video if you guys request it. But I made this thing. What it is is I won't get into detail because I need to get this video done. But see, I made like a lip. Up here's a, a long tube that I made. You just put some water down. It soaks everything down there. All the paper towel. It's not wet, so it's not sticking, and all that gets soaked, and it's like a little ledge that's all soaked full of water. Put those in the corners, um, and then you have just regular water, like paper towel water. Put cotton balls all over you. They need tons and tons of water, so you're going to want that. Uh, and then put sprinkle like crushed up, ground up, fine, fine powder, dog food or cat food. Anything that's high in protein, just smush it all up, put it in there, and they'll eat it. That's good for them too. Uh, then once they start getting this size, you want to start putting in some of the houses like toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls, um, so they can live in there. When they're babies, you don't want to do that because they can get crushed or they can they they're so small they can't get out. So you're not gonna want to put that in there. Just leave it all open. Once they get about this size, a little bit smaller, you might put them in there, um, so they can hide and have a nice space. And then you just nurse them until they're big and big enough to whatever your lizard or yeah lizard can eat or turtle can eat and then uh, that's it and then you can feed them and then just cycle starts all over again so that's how I do it so it goes really quick break down it goes nurseries in here then I have the uh, adults in here for, this is how I started off then the adults mate in there for, for a week and a half then I take put them on all in here this is gonna be empty because they're all going to be gone. I'm telling you right now. He's going to eat this in a week. Put them all in the adults in here. Then I feed the adults. Oh, keep them in here. I could feed the adults to the, to the beer dragon if I want. Um, then these guys will be nursing in there. Then they're going to be this size. Put them back in here. Adults go back in there. And all over and all over and over and over, uh, over, and over, and over again. And I get a constant supply of uh, ticket of uh, uh, crickets. Uh, now you guys are wondering... Probably what the difference is between a male and a female cricket. Males do not have a long prong in the back. It's really easy to look at. This is a male. Come on, focus. Ugh. Males don't have a long prong. It just looks like this little V. Females have a long prong in the back, and that's where the it's called an ovipositor, and that's where the eggs come out, and they lay them in the soil. Stick that in the soil, and the eggs come out. It's really easy to tell. Uh, if you guys want to look, you can just go on Google or Bing, just search it. It's really easy to tell. Um, you know the difference? Alright, this, this video is about to be ended because it's about to cut. 
I'm out of time. Guys, comment, rate, subscribe. If you guys need any questions, comment me or personal message me. And I'll see you guys next time. Keep checking back on the video. See ya.